Lisa G is here. She's here with headlines. Yeah, very interesting page 69 from Will and Jason. This past Super Bowl Sunday, while most Americans were taking in football, high pitch Mike found himself at the movies with Richard Christie's girlfriend watching the movie 27 Dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Jason and Will revealed that not only anything. did Mike attend the chick flick, but that he also cried during the movie. <laughs> this is now a party. All right, all right, fine. Oh, you know what? Geez. That doesn't even deserve anything. Nothing I has to be tell said. You, that's really odd behavior. Mm. Wow. I have another name for it. Well, I don't know about that. Right. But... I <laughs> right. It'd be, it would be absurd to think he's gay. Yeah, why would you make that leap? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, listen, that's very nice. I'm sure Richard's he, girlfriend he, he, needed company. <laughs> and the most insulting part, Richard not even worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, Richard, I, I, Richard Toe, it's, it's like I, I think Richard should have been worried that uh, his girlfriend could steal Mike from him. <laughs> 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 but obviously Richard's girlfriend thinking about marriage, 28 dresses. What is that? What is it? I don't even know what the fuck it is. It's some stupid movie about weddings. Oh, it is? Oh, my God. Hey, hey Mike, <laughs> honestly, high pitch, Mike, I got to tell you something. I've never bought into this whole rap of Artie, like you're gay and all this stuff. No. You, you have an affliction where your voice is high. Big right. deal. And I'm the only one who thinks uh, that. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you something. Even when, like, when you were at Disney World with the red shirt and all that. <laughs> I okay, first got... of all, first of all, I'm going to correct you on that because he says it once on the wrap up show. Right. And it automatically becomes fact. No, it, no, no one thinks that, uh, Mike. I and I think, and listen, uh, by I... the way, I swear to you. I would never ever think that you exhibit any kind of gay behavior. I, you know, I don't care what again. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. Right. I come in here to to tell you what happened. The truth. I go to see the movie with Richard's girlfriend. Enough said. I, I tell her as we leave. I say when we get to your place because we're going to see the Super Bowl. I said tell Richard I cried. I thought it'd be a funny joke. He gets to the Super Bowl party, tells everybody, and now it's automatically fact. Well, it's a funny joke. It is funny. It. We're right. laughing. So, so great writing. You didn't miss the Super Bowl. You kind of like beer league. Yeah. Oh, no. Four hundred thousand. It's way funnier than beer league. Wait a second. So the point you're making is you did watch the Super Bowl. I did watch the Super Bowl and oh. I saw the movie. No big, you know. Okay, fine. Well, See, okay. they treated me to breakfast that morning. I wasn't going to argue about what movie we saw. I had already seen Cloverfield. Whatever. What kind of? Why and I hardly know his girlfriend. I said, "Let me hang out with her." And, you know, she's a nice girl. Oh, yeah, two Mike's girls. full of shit. He's made. He's come up you with did, this You weren't story. in the movie with us. Get her on the phone, and you'll see the truth. No, she would not lie to me. Like he cried, and now he's trying to deflect it by saying, "Oh, we had this plan to make it all up." <laughs> did he miss the Super Bowl to go watch a, 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 a chick flick? No, we watched the movie before. then. The Super Bowl. Right, uh, so. I didn't go to. I didn't want to see this movie. It's a chick. I went to see Cloverfield while they saw. And it. And as long as well, you, you you guys don't believe me if I correct that truth. But can I correct one truth that he said a few weeks ago? Well, yeah. you don't want to see the Com Giants beat the Boston false. Patriots. I can, at the beginning of the year. I told myself, you know what? Forget Artie. I'm not going to argue with him anymore. I don't care. Please do. A couple of days into the new year, he comes in here and tells you a story at the Christmas party that I came up to him and I said, oh, I'm sorry. Everything I say on air is fake. I'm just doing it for airtime bullshit. You said, what, you, did Christmas, you not come the, up to me and say? At the uh, Christmas party, I was drunk. Will, Will knows for a fact I was drunk. <laughs> right. That you came fun. over to our table. Yeah. I put my hand on your shoulder and I said, Artie. I love you, man. Happy holidays. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever. It, it, no, but there was more to it than that. But the general thing was you extended a hand to me and said... And you called me like, pompous and arrogant. You when know, did I you say wanna, that? You At the know, Christmas party? I was creeped out that you were touching Do you want to know what pompous is? <laughs> you walking into your 40th birthday and coming up to a table of Lisa, me, JD, and Sal right. and telling us, oh, I just saw Gary Delabate's check. Who do you think makes more money, me or Gary? <laughs> All right. Let's not get this into from that. The no, yeah, let's not get into let's it. Let's not Why get not? into that subject because it's a dead no. subject. A, I never saw Gary. You shouldn't check. be talking about people's salaries, number one. And I two, talk about anybody's salary. The people that hardly make any money as it is. We don't, we don't care who makes more money. You don't need to brag about how much money you make. I'm not bragging about it. What is going on around Nothing, here? Nothing, guy. He's talking about something that never Yeah, he doesn't happened. want to bring it up because he did something unethical. You, uh, you know, you shouldn't no, 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 no. It was It was totally different than how you're putting it. Oh, so, and, how was it? it? Well, it was just different. And secondly, don't try to extend your arm to me in any way uh, at I'm the not, Christmas I'm not, party. I'm not trying to extend it. I was drunk. I was kidding your, with your you. your faggot drunk arm to me. <laughs> that usually, that, that, that was, probably, was probably just on a cock. Oh. Because oh, I don't uh. want cock on my back.
and cock is all over your hand and face and lips <laughs> you want, and mouth you know what? You know and what? the inner you part of your fucking cocky You want to end the, faggot shit? End the faggot shit? Get your sister in here and I'll fuck her right on this couch, asshole. All right, well, listen, let me tell you something. Wow. That's fine wow. if you made more money. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you would fuck Artie's sister on right the show here. to prove. Dude, you can never, you can never get hard for a girl. You can never get hard for a girl. Now, I won't Dude. take that. Stacey Lang is a friend Dude. of mine. Yeah, He's reaching. He's reaching. <laughs> He's reaching. I do not believe. <laughs> but will he one... fuck a girl in front of us? I don't we think can he could get hard. Girl. He couldn't get Mike. hard for any girl we brought in here. Yeah. Yeah. Artie, would he do that? Artie's saying this to upset you. This guy's 100% heterosexual. He can prove it. Okay, well, he is. He's not gay. I don't, When's the last girl I don't, you fuck? Uh, I appreciate what When's you're doing, but you I, fuck? No, jerk off, because you just fucking I've said it on the, the air years ago, And people asshole. came to me in this organization and said, don't call him gay anymore because we think he's gay. <laughs> and you're hitting a fucking spot. And I said, okay, fine. But I don't give a fuck anymore. Why are you saying he's gay? Because he has a high voice? Because he's a cock-sucking Because homo. I put his movie When's down repeatedly. No, 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 no. A lot spent, of straight people, spent, a lot of straight people hate my movie. He spent four years working on the piece of shit movie. You know, he it comes out it flops he's embarrassed by it and i pointed out i'm the only one who doesn't kiss his ass around here and i point out that the movie sucked and all of a sudden i'm the fag listen no 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 you're the fag because you have sex with guys you had you criticized his movie so therefore he's calling you a fag basically no i mean i guess i'm calling you a fag because you're you're i guess that makes a lot of the movie reviewers in this country fags too richard roper's a fag thumbs up have you seen that let Available on DVD you, widescreen, Artie, by the way. Beerly. What is your animosity toward Mike? I don't have any. He starts it. He came in here and started with me. But why Lisa, did a, sto- Lisa did a story Criticize about him going work. to see 27 dresses, right? Yes. Did I say anything? He comes in here and he goes, let me straighten something out with Artie. He started it. Play the fucking tape. So the little faggot's going to get it back. Oh, yeah, because anything so you good. say on here, it becomes fact. No, right? it doesn't. No, it, I wish it did, because people would believe you're a fucking flaming homo. And you are a flaming homo, and I hope you get well, AIDS I don't soon. You want to talk about I hope you get AIDS you soon. I hope your lover takes the rubber off tonight and oh. fucks you in his ass with an AIDS, his AIDS-ridden cock. And you come in here tomorrow with fucking sores on your face. Why are you getting 40 so angry? fucking what pounds. Is what is going on? You know, on, you know what, Howard, Howard. Artie, what's Howard, going on? Howard, Howard, what's going on? Fuck you. What do I, why don't you say something to him? No, let I mean, me, what's going on? Why are you so mad? Let me leave before I get a CD thrown in my face. What are you talking about? Why Let me leave so before mad? I get a CD thrown in my face. It ain't going to be a CD. It's going to be my fucking fist in your All face. Right, get well, out of exactly. here. Because I'm, I'm a gay basher. Fuck you. I'm a gay basher, and I'll bash your gay head. Oh what? what is going Don't on Don't catch here. AIDS. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I missed How did he go? For, he, he Howard always <laughs> misses it. I did. Yeah, I missed happened? it. I really did. <laughs> what I just happened? See it. I just knew Artie was like real, really venomous. Well, oh, he wasn't venomous, Robin. Fuck you, you fucking skinny bitch. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what has just happened here? Oh, my God. You, you know what happens? What? Is, is Mike, Howard, you're going to be Mike, forced to Mike, open your eyes one day Mike and fire me. <laughs> Mike tries to get in his face and keep up with him, which, number one, is a big mistake. <laughs> was it the Dana stuff? Uh, it was, oh, no, I, yeah. the, the, the sister. Stacey stuff. He, I know. He, nothing he was, was venomous today. Well, no, he no, 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 line, no, no. But, but he also, like, Mike acts like he has no fear towards Artie. And I don't know how smart a strategy that but is. But wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I always Let Howard talk. Like He's right all the time. Throwing blanks. <laughs> I'm, not, no, I'm, not, I'm not defending. I, I just don't know how Why that Why are you escalated. so mean to Benji? <laughs> I'm not mean to Benji. I'm teaching Benji. But you're gonna are get, you teaching I've taken, Are you going to honor me with your time now? I think so. I think I'm going to have to start teaching you. <laughs> I just wondered if he was Then tell Lisa. Mike. Then start running this organization better and tell Lisa not to do a story about Mike when I'm in the fucking room. So Mike's going to come in here. He takes the bait, comes in, says something to me, totally starts with me, and then I'm supposed to sit here like a jerk. No, off. no, no. You were laughing at Mike calling him gay because he went to the movies. Right. Right. As we movie. all were. Why would Lisa what? do that story? Because none of us find it funny? No, but he, you did. You started it by calling the guy gay. You're making him feel... Un- no, if he's Howard, not- I swear to you, please listen to the tape. I did not. You did not? What did you I, say? I think Mike did take the first shot, but I don't remember what it was. I did not. I didn't say anything. You guys really hate each other. Well, he hates me for some reason. 
But then you you really shoot back at him. You you love Robin, him. Robin, what do you want me to do? Sit here and take it from him? No. Well, no, no, no. He does have a point. Uh, Mike started criticizing uh, 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 the Beer uh, League. Uh, yes, beer yes. League. Yes. Really all that, what he said, first of all, what he said about my sister is is totally vicious, and it's something that a coward would say. And you know what? I, I, I honestly well, am not going to sit here Well, you both were throwing it around pretty heavy. Okay, fine. You both were throwing it around heavy. You got to admit. You got to admit. Uh, 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 I, I think what I'm saying is based in truth. That's the difference. That's why it hurts uh, me. Uh, I don't think you believe that. I really don't. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I really don't think you believe. You don't that. think I believe he's gay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I think you're trying. A lot of people I think are gay that you probably fucking think. Yeah. I don't. What's going on over here? Wow. Just think about Howard. If, 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 <laughs> this is a crazy show. Let I, the caller talk. I'm sure he'll fix her. If, 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 sucked, and all the producers in Hollywood hear that, they're not going to want to hire you for. Anything. They don't want to hire me anyway, dude. First of all, <laughs> everybody in here is afraid to give anybody a compliment. They liked Beer League when it came out. These these guys, this guy has to come in here. Uh, you, you know what? No other. I'm guaranteeing no fag like Beer League. We make fun of fags in it. Well, well, well. You, you be, Are you, you supposed to be using that word? Yeah, I mean, every minute with fag. I, I haven't were, done it yet. You're cutting a public service announcement. Well, I didn't cut that yet, and if they're going to make it retroactive, I might owe them about eight grand right now. <laughs> right. But right. Uh, I haven't cut the public service announcement. Gee, I, I got uncomfortable during that argument. That was very uncomfortable. I, I got really, very I comfortable. Bad. I felt I got very bad for both of you. Well, I mean, look, he said some awful things, and I said the some minute, awful things. The minute he waved the sister flag, it's like, Artie is very protective and loving of his sister, and, and I admire yeah, well, him. But it's like, you know what, Fred, and I appreciate you saying that, right. but a guy like him saying he's going to fuck, he's not going to fuck no, any that's, girl. That's just, he couldn't get hard for a girl. You know what? Uh, it's like, so it's based on... Why don't you guys well, make see, why don't, why why don't I want a list of... I want a list of the chick he, he fucked The with. list of a chick? Yeah, because right. probably a chick. The guy's not a lady. He hasn't gotten a lot of girls, right. but he probably likes not a ladies' girl. man. There's only one other option. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Animals? Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, he might fuck. I, I wouldn't put it behind him. Bestiality. Come on. And uh, let him sue me if he thinks everything I say is fact. I no. think you're a fag, Mike, and I'll uh. say it to, to your lawyer. <laughs> I think you fucked you're allowed to think. You're allowed to think somebody is gay. Oh, okay, good. Well, I think it's, it's just not, a theory. It's not a legal question. It's just I'd me, like to see my people getting along here. Let me oh. ask one other well, thing. Well, I never have to see him. Do you really think it's it's a, a fair fight? To do what? To you, for you to physically threaten no, no, Mike? No. I didn't physically threaten him. Well, you know, you said I'll, I'll use my uh, fist. Because right. right. he said yeah. something. No. And well, no, maybe it isn't. Maybe he don't. Like a lot of fags know karate. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting uncomfortable with this uh, fag stuff. Uh, oh my! God. And he's also uh, uh, Hispanic. I mean, listen, what Hispanic fag could have a knife? That's true. Yeah, they could have a knife. Yeah. I mean, come on, this is getting silly. <laughs> this is getting. Silly. I don't know. I'm very self-destructive with this. All right, I'm all going right. through a lot of crazy shit. All right, calm down. <laughs> when aren't you going through crazy? See, shit? Benj, any other organization, we'd both be fired. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 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 come on, man. Why are you getting so riled up, man? You've he's been through this before. He's a fucking asshole. You know, I'm tired of pretending that I have to get along with him. That's it. You know, what else, what else is there to say? But you guys have had fights in the past. Why are you letting it get to you so much this time? I mean, that... Because he's allowed to say whatever he wants. I have to put up with it and whatever, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pretend anymore. He's a piece of shit. He can burn in hell for Why like are that. these comments hitting home so much, though? You're really getting... I mean, when, he, when he broke out that, you know, the word fag, you immediately attacked his sister. Why go that route? If, uh... Oh. Let me give you a good example. Hey, Mike. Take it from me. You fucked up big time. Fucked up big time? You don't go after the system. Why'd you bring up his sister? What the hell is that? Just go in there and apologize about that. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna fucking cry and beg for forgiveness like you do, Okay, I'm telling you to like you, but I didn't go after his family. Dude, you want to attack him, that's fine. Just listen, go in there. I would go in there and say, I apologize about the sister and then get back to Artie. No. No, you know what? But focus I, on what I say, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry and say, you know what? I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do that. That's you and Richard. That's not me. But you shouldn't go after his sister. Is an innocent victim. Just apologize about the sister and move on to Artie. Do the right thing. All right. And you I'm should an apologize about the sister. I don't need them saying, right. you're a faggot. This and that. You know what? That's you, though. That's you and him. That's not your brother. That's not your sister. That's well, not your father. I took it where I wanted to, and I'm not gonna apologize. Well, that's up to you. I'm just giving you good advice. Well, thank you. 
Not right. Mike, are you worried though that this is going to really make working here tough for you now that you, you and Ari no, have really no, no, you know, no, taken no, the gloves no, off? No, 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 because you know what? I work back outside of this compound. I work in a different area. I hardly ever see Artie. Whatever. So it's over between it's you done, two. It's done. It's done. Party. What it is about Mike, not just his words, but something about his demeanor seems uh, to listen, really. I have no comment. He's a good guy. He, I work with the guy. That's it. Honestly, Howard said no more. We're not talking about it. I. You know. But I mean, the guy attacked your sister. He deserves something back. He did. I was screw my sister. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, everything's fine. I like everybody I work with. Scott the pace is a little question. The other big uh, news was Benji in the halls. Did you hear about that one? No. That story's going around. What did he do? No, it's just that Benji comes late to work, and he barely leaves him enough, enough time to get in. That's always been the case. And, and now the building has filed a complaint against him. You know, I, The I building love, is complaining about Benji? Yeah, Benji I love Benji, on. but this is the most annoying shtick thing he does. It really is. Yeah, I yeah. see him sometimes. It's a shtick. It's, it's ridiculous. What, is he, he like OJ hurtling through the building? What he does is he runs into the building like a, like a bull in a china shop, like full speed, like sweaty. A yeah, like a linebacker. Hey, I want to ask that question because it came up on the air today. And you're right about the, there's a double standard for the lateness. And, you know, Artie strolls in late every once in a while, and it's different than it is for you. And I can't explain to you why it is, but it is. And you know that. You work within those parameters. And you remember we had that big sit down with you about being late. And you promised you weren't going to be late anymore. But you really have broken that promise because you are late quite a bit, whether it be 10 or 15 seconds. It's not the point. You, you know, you've been bending that line, but you realize that the conversation today wasn't shtick. It's not about whether you're late, whether there's a double standard, but it is about the commotion that you create. And do you see that you create a commotion, or do you think we're being silly? And be honest. Yeah, this wasn't about <coughs> being late today. It was because I, didn't, I, I, I couldn't find my ID to get in and uh, about the running. And, uh, yeah, because oftentimes guys will fuck with me in the hall. You guys will hold the door shut as a joke. You guys will, but, like, but, jump but, in front of me as a but joke. But you understand that I everyone's, think, everyone's listen, doing that as a joke I because you're within... Running, hold, hold on. I don't think hustling to get in... It's not like I do it in a crazy way. No, hold I on. I don't think hustling <laughs> to get in is a, is a big deal. <coughs> However, if, if you guys say you, you can't hustle... Benji, I, I, I will not you hustle. create why? a scene. Why? I, the thing that weirds me out is like, why? I don't you... think it's that big of a deal. To well, me, okay, so if I saw thought, a guy running stop, in the hall, it wouldn't stop, be that stop big right of a right deal. There. We think it's a big deal. Please stop it. Okay. No, but but that's like you're still gonna fight. How is it? We do think it's a big deal. I'm not fighting that you you have a right to think it's a big deal. I think you're 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 kind of uh, anal about it. I, I, but but you have a right to feel that way. You have a right as a supervisor to say not but to did do you, it. But does it seem weird to you that everybody on the silly? staff seems anal yes, about it? I, yes. I you think, think you think that the I think twenty it's a other fun guys thing because of the air. To, to, wait, to you think the twenty other guys that come on time are being anal? No, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't say about being on time. So Talked about hustling in the hall to be on time. But the other thing is, you if if you know that it's such a big deal that you know how Howard feels about the lateness, why are you constantly bending it to you know right to the very edge? Why do you push it to the edge? It's not good to do. <laughs> I agree. That's not good to do. Is that is that your new? I'm, 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 I mean, this is this your new angle because you did the same thing with Howard. Like you just kept agreeing, so there's well, no place to go. What do you what do you say? What, what do you, what do you mean? I I think Gary. How can you agree with something that you constantly keep doing over and over? Wait, wait, Sal. It's like if you. It's like saying to a drug addict. Well, you know drugs are wrong. There, no, you know they're. Like, this isn't an addiction. No, no, no. What I'm saying is yes. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the running. I'm talking about running late. Running late is bad. It's a bad habit. It's it, it's it's uh, it's not good. But it's also but, 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 that almost cost you your job once. But you agree? Y yes. Should you change it? Yes. But th that's what I'm saying. It's like talking to a drug addict. Yes, he knows he should change it. He, you know, you should lose weight. You know, you should talk to your wife. Uh, all that stuff. But sometimes it's hard to change change behaviors. Are you saying coming in late is it like was Fred off? Is it an OCD thing? It's something like a, a disease. No, I, for no, you no, no. I'm not asking for any. Uh, but is it? Because I've heard some weird things. I've heard some stuff that sort of goes to that. Do you have some odd version of OCD? It's possible, but 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 but, but I'm not. You're I'm a grown fucking man. Do you have it or not? I, I I'm not qualified to diagnose OCD. Okay. I, 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 pretend that I'm me, right? And I'm doing the things that you're doing. Not you don't have to diagnose. You're not a doctor. I'm not gonna hold you to it. If I were doing the things that you're doing every morning that are holding me from getting here, would you guess that I might have OCD? That's I, I don't know enough about OCD. I know there's like I don't. I, there's a certain habits I used to have where it was really scary to leave, like, oh, God, I have to check this, I have to check that, which are very blatant, stereotypical OCD 
uh, symptoms. I have that I, I, too, where I, ch I check my lights when I get <coughs> my apartment like 10 times. Right. To make sure all the lights are off. But do you feel like... <laughs> you should brush your teeth 10 times too. Do you feel like <laughs> you can't up. get here like at quarter to six? Like part of you has to come in at 5.59 and, and run in and, and do what you do? Like you the, can't... As far it? as I know, there's no uh, <clears throat> like uh, superstitious mental OCD thing about that. Like, what would you do to change this? Will you make an effort? Will you do, like, do you have a game plan to well, maybe... he's going to come 15 minutes earlier. But he's, he's not. Going. He will He will for a week. And then but a that's, week later, listen, that, 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 like... A week later, it'll be five of it. Then after that, it'll be the same galloping Benji. Again, this was more about... This wasn't about being late today. This was about running. So, being... Well, but then one and the same. If you're not late, you're not running. But to me, it's okay. Listen, like today, some, sometimes you run in the hall. Sometimes everyone runs in the hall. Oh, but Benji, come on. The way you run in the hall, you run day. in the hall like a bull. And I've never hit day. anyone Did doing you? it. No, you have. You hit no, I have. No, I did the elevator. No, yes, I didn't. You, do I have to get Tony on the phone? Yes, you do. You're rationalizing, though. You're rationalizing. What, what I'm saying, listen, I don't think running is a big deal. You guys do. If I'm not allowed to do it, you can say I'm not allowed to run. You're not allowed to run. All right, fine. I'm not and whenever you see me running in the hall, I might, like, if I'm running because it's for the show and I'm trying to get something on the air on time, yes, but I'm not running because of my own inability I, to get where I need to be. Listen, I think there's a lot more dangerous... <sighs> But it's not for you to decide. You're 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 getting off track. Uh, you, well, you're asking my opinion about it. So yeah. No, I'm not Again, if I opinion. if I was a supervisor, I wasn't asking your opinion. Well, it's, it, well you you seem to be. Like, no, I'm not asking your opinion. I'm saying that it shouldn't be done, and whether you think it should be okay, done or not is not up for discussion. And Benj, the theory out there is you're doing it for this reason. Like you want a couple people said you want this conversation to happen. You want well, the listen, attention. For I think it. that's ridiculous, and that's a great thing on this show to say. How do you fight that? How do you fight that? How do I how do I say you know no I'm not doing that because uh, why can't you, you, by, by why acting can't you walk in in the morning why can't you walk in you walk uh, in to be a minute late uh, rather than gallop in well because I'm under threat if I'm a minute late well then you figure it out okay. don't make it my problem because that's well, what well, you're listen, doing but now, now you've thrown it on me like, like a, but, but now you've thrown it on me like I'm some sort of an no, asshole it, Gary, for asking no, you not no, to no, run not, Gary, Gary you can ask me not to run I think it's stupid but if you think you don't want me to run then fine well no I think the way you guys it's very passive aggressive the deal you guys made about it again I always feel like and I'm like the Israel of the show anything I do wrong is a thousand times wrong. Anything I do right, there's some sort of angle to it. It's right. not really right. Right. And I'm the lightning rod for everything stupid on the show and everything I say is dumb and we all have our fucking role on the show. It's Sal's the idiot and this and that and Rich is yeah, the smelly guy. You guys' roles are, my role is no matter what, we hate you. That's the joke about me. No. That's not true. It's, it's more like, the joke to me is not we hate you. The joke is like, no matter what, we always leave you out. But it's not that we hate. You. I don't no, think that's we, Scott's role. I don't, <laughs> but I don't think the role is that we hate you. I think that's. I think that's how you perceive it. What would you say? I mean, there's definitely Listen, a I'll joke. Give there's a joke about Benji. But I don't think the joke is that we hate Benji. I think you? we're <clears throat> no. I, I think don't, I don't think you're the joke is he Benji. sucks. He's the, like, no, no, the, the only joke, thing ever acknowledged. The, the only Benji thing. When Benji wants, oh, I guess I'm doing it to you now. But like when Benji wants to talk on the show, Howard shuts off his mic. The only thing the joke. ever acknowledged on air is if it happens on air. So I, the, the, the Howard's always like, you suck, you, you, you have no, you know, you, all this crap and everything. But the thing is, I write a lot of sh stuff every day, great lines that Howard uses that, you, that, that everyone laughs at. I, I want to give an example of how I'm treated compared to this. Oh, God. And, yeah, and I'm treated so great here, too, right? Yeah. Every time I'm on the air, I get my ass beaten. So what are you talking about? But, but Benji, if I did that every day, say you, you say, give the Okay, but you say I'm treated at a higher level than you. Do you think it's of I gallop? No, no, no. I'm, what I'm saying is this is an example. Okay. I get a lot of crap today, a lot of venom, for fucking around with Doug on the street, blocks from work. It wasn't venom. D D yeah, it was very like, like, uh, what are people going to think about this? Da 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 da. No, the other the thing is like, why? I got a lot of hate for that. Did you think he got hate, guys? Well, well let him finish. Go ahead, Benji. Before I say this, I absolutely love Artie. Love him. Artie assaults Sal. It's all blown over. I I on I on the street blocks away, yelling at Doug in a joking manner. Doug Doug loved it. Doug was laughing. Doug was having fun with it. But that's just like what are you know if people see that what are they gonna think? I don't and understand the I don't understand the comparison. It, well, they're two different incidents. Completely. They're, right. they're two different incidents. <clears throat> reading, reading between the lines. Artie can do whatever. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. Pass. I'm talking about hold the on. behavior. Wait, hold on. And Benji, 
whatever he does is going to get shit for it. I mean, that's what I'm reading out of what Benji's saying right now. Yeah, but I don't think it was the same. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I don't know that that you got hate for it today. I, that you got called uh, wacky and weird yeah. and what are you doing and why are you doing that without a camera? But I, I don't know how you perceive that as hate. I, Did you guys see? It this seemed. Before? Listen, I I, I feel yeah, I a that. lot of venom from Howard. I respect him. He gives you a great deal of support off the air with our, our role with Sirius as as employees. Um, but he treats me like a dick. I saw he's, it, he's an ass to me. I saw it as a scolding, but I wouldn't say it was like hatred and venom. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I think you're being a little extreme there. But I did see it as you're getting scolded, Ben. Right. Well, I almost saw it as advice. Like, when yeah. you do that stuff, have a camera with you. I think, Benji, you do so much funny and crazy stuff outside of the show, you should always have a video camera with you, and, and you, well, they could show it on Howard TV. I agree with that. I mean, like, the other thing when is... When you ran at me on the sidewalk, it was I was scared for my life, and I wish <laughs> you had footage of it because it must have been really funny. I was listening to the wrap-up show yesterday, and Benji and Gary were going at it pretty heavy. And I, said, I heard you know, some of that, too. And I said, you know, shame on Benji because... What were they going at it about? Because Benji's like kind of like, oh, well, I'm being singled out. Everyone hates me. Meanwhile, Baba Booey, uh, Fred to a certain degree, Ronnie the limo driver, Scott the engineer, Artie at times. Dude, I've gotten it 50 Every times worse than Benji. Benji, my personal life has been like just like destroyed on the air at times. I, you have a lot of nerve saying that we you're being single We can't even figure out. out your personal life. He's like, everyone hates me. And I'm like, no one fucking hates you. Grow up. Just you fucking acting like a retard. You, you just, you're just ignoring a thing that you did something wrong. You can't fess up to it. And you're looking at it as a personal well, attack. Well, he really doesn't see it. But Gary said to him, look, just don't run in the halls look, anymore. I think most people here would say your meanest... When you get mean to me, it's it's, it's meaner than no. your other two. It's meaner than it, his it, other it, meanness. Go play it's, the tapes and put yourself in Gary's shoes. Oh all around but, mean. When Gary from but, day but, one but, has gotten goofed it, that's on not with The other day when I'm like, hold it, hold it, bull, 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 bull. But, but the other day, Gary just tried to tell a, a simple story about Las that Vegas. Doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't hurt you. I take what hurts right. you and I crush you with it. And you with your lines pile on those people. I'm sure Absolutely. there's a lot of funny right. lines you write. That's right. That's right. There have been times Gary's been so filleted in here, I couldn't take another swipe at him. What about me with my in, poor uh, girlfriend? And he walks in and he lets it go. And it's all what? You let Gary be a full person, which is fine. That's a your decision. Full person. A full person. But, but for I don't me, let Gary do just... anything. And you know what, Ben? Not for the first 15 years. <laughs> he was a half person. He, he wasn't here for that. <laughs> I went into Fred's bag. Did I ever go in your bag? Oh. Really? Oh, Fred, you don't I'm, remember? I'm, I'm talking Fred quit about, the show, brought, I laughed in his face. He Listen. brought in a guy <laughs> who basically was telling lies on the air about a fight that my wife and I had in the Rainbow Room. And I would do it again tomorrow if I had the chance. Right. Uh, yeah, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able back? to return the favor when yeah, it happens right. to you. But, uh, but, that's right. But Howard doesn't, want to be, Howard doesn't want to be your friend. He wants to be the guy who makes fun of you. On no, the <laughs> I don't want to be that. I want to be the guy who brings sense into your life. <laughs> well, forget that. You know, it's tough you, love. You've never had that, Benji. I suspect in your life, I think no it's one's too late. really explained how things work. I think it's way too and late. I, and I'm explaining. Trust me, I've have figured out on my time in the planet how things work. And you're, I'm you're, giving you the benefit of my wisdom. See, he's not gonna listen. Like I can feel it. I treating you better. My kids don't even get this wisdom because I can't come on strong with them. They're kids. You are a grown so, man who can is now prepared to accept my wisdom. Howard, I'm not talking about if, you, if you're if you saying, like, something work-wise you don't like. You have every right to do that. When does but, he say something mean to you that has nothing to do with work? This all is um, so interesting to me. People who complain about their situation here vis-a-vis. -vis. I, I like being here, and I'm voluntarily no. being here. No. And, you're, and you're voluntarily having me here. You don't but know but I do have feelings sometimes, and so do you. Of course. So, But everybody does, and everybody puts up with it. The fact of the matter is this is so interesting. Gary Delabate Baba Fui got an email from Dan the Song Parody Man, yes. who's demanding an apology from Baba Gary. Fui, that's Baba for Fui. saying that he wasn't good <laughs> dinner company? Yeah, for saying he wasn't good dinner company. <laughs> and it, the letter went something like, you know what, Gary? Uh, I can't believe you went on the air and said I wasn't good dinner company. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting a lot of grief for that, that I'm not good dinner company. Oh, my goodness. Other people weighed in and said that's true. And I contribute a lot of really good bits to the show and stuff. And uh, people should know that. And uh, He does. That's and, true. And Gary, uh, you owe me an apology. Well, uh, Gary wrote me a letter back. goes, I'm fucking pissed at this guy. <laughs> right, go ahead. You know what? I just I, I emailed him back and I said, listen, I think that you contribute to his contributions to the show are amazing. Yeah. He's a great right. song parody guy. I said, I'm not sure how 
you telling a boring story has anything to do with your ability to make great, you know, he, you're a valuable asset to the show. And I said, you know, I'm not even sure that this is real, but if it is, I think you're out of your mind. Because his last line is, I deserve an apology. If I don't get one, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, I, no, but no, I think it was might, real. It was a real so, note. So here's the deal. I th Dan, I think you are an amazing asset to the show, and I'm not going to apologize that you tell crappy stories. Right. But I, th but I love you as a contributor. Sure. Boy, Evidently, it's, it's very sensitive around uh, here And week. same with Benji. You get it. Gary gets it 50,000 times worse than Benji. Well, he's got sad. I mean, Gary's got it coming mm. from back and mm -hmm. front. I thought you were going to kill Benji on the wrap-up show yesterday. You, I he was, was making you mental. I was mad because, you know, he was trying to make it sound like it's our fault for being mad that he runs in the hallway. It was sort of like, listen, if you don't want me to run, he goes, first of all, he kept calling it hustling. He goes, I can't believe I'm getting yelled at for hustling to get to work. And I go, that's not hustling. No, but here's the serious part of it. Benji, you don't understand, or maybe you do, and this is a shtick. I don't know what it is. No one else on, in this company, in this troop, uh, I don't know how many people we have hit these channels, 100, 150, I don't we're, know, between the news and everything else. We're like an improv troupe. Right. Uh, th this gang <laughs> of ours. It's more uh, like a circus. There's nobody who times their entrance the way you do with this every day, this yeah. um, extraordinary uh, stampede that you perform. And people don't like it because they feel they're going to get hit by you. Or get into an accident right. with you, and it's it's giving people in the building. I'm talking about the security people, Ajita. So when someone says to you, "Can you stop it?" you you fail to see the reason, and you that's argue. That's a personal attack. It's not a personal no, attack. That, no, it's just I didn't you've say got that to was. stop. That's not personal. I didn't say that was. So what's a, what is your fucking problem? I I have feelings of the listen. But what, just stop it. Just say you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm going to be on time for I, work, and then I've you wouldn't even have to have any. You wouldn't have any attention brought to you. I've said that. But you don't do but it. What is you, so what is your problem? You say it, no, and no, then what the, happened? The, the, he, he, said, he said yesterday at the wrap-up show, this is where I... And we, Benji and I talked about it after the show. First of all, he didn't realize. He thinks that this is us doing shtick to fuck with Benji because we hate him. No, and I, told him, I don't hate him. I told him that quite a few people that work here had come to me over the past few months to complain about the stampeding thing. Like, it wasn't a bit for the air. It was real. But Benji's whole rap is... I don't think running, this is what got me crazy. I don't think running is such a big deal, but if that's what you think, it's fine. I won't do it anymore. But it's almost like I'll stop doing it, but you're stupid for thinking that it's uh, a pain in the ass. No, you, that's you, what it hate, like. you hate him for thinking it's bad. But I don't hate him. But he th he's paranoid. No, See, but no, you as a no, boss no. should have handled it the way you handle it at the that's end. I heard I that. You should have said, look, look, dude, don't run. Argument over. I don't I, fuck, I, what do you think about it? I was it? so mad. I go, as don't, a fu don't fucking run. Next topic. But as a boss, that's how you have to act. So, well, he right. tried that, but Benji, you know, Benji, uh, Benji will argue that. How did Benji do today getting to work? How did you do today? Tell us about your routine today, how it differed and, and, uh, and how it worked out. I saw you were on time. You looked relaxed. You're not sweating. What's going on? No, he was sweating on? a little bit. I, little think, bit. I think he was anticipating his conversation. Uh, one of the guys I, who might have been at the giant parade yesterday was outside, and I walked in five minutes to six and went, <laughs> Benji got here fucking early. <laughs> that fag. <laughs> so I got the report. <laughs> so what, what, how did your day differ today than all the previous days? I, uh, I got here a little earlier. Okay. So you woke up. What, you set your clock five minutes earlier? No. What did you do? I, I've been up for hours. You didn't stay up all night. Oh, you were up all night? Yeah. Okay, and at what time did you leave your place? Uh, I, I don't know exactly. But you left earlier than you normally yes. do? Okay, and you came in in a relaxed way. You didn't have to run through the halls. You had your ID ready. It was really weird. I actually, no joke, I, it, and it, maybe it's something weird about, like, I lost my ID like three times. You lost your ID because you're out, you're angry. You're hostile to the idea maybe. of of, of, that, of That could of being be why, a... but I got, maybe it was some sort of panic. Well, but let me I, tell you something. You probably were in a panic about, for the first time in your life, being a disciplined adult. Listen, let me tell you something about you psychologically. You don't want to grow up. I mean, why grow up? That would, that would break the tie to your mommy and daddy. You're a Toys R Us kid. I, if, I don't, you were a grown, <laughs> if you took pride in being a grown man who walks into his office with pride, he's achieved something in life, you walk in, you're an organized man, that image would mean you no longer need mommy and daddy. Yeah, it's hard to believe he's older than Artie. Yeah. <laughs> Much older from what we hear. Do you understand what I'm saying, Benji? What? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I don't. What, I, you, you, why do you prevent yourself from seeing yourself as a competent, grown I man? I do see myself that no, way. No, you don't. Yes, not I, when you run in like a bull in a china shop, like a little baby, and no, I don't I, have to my. To me, that's not a babyish thing oh. to, yeah, to yeah, run. Look, Benji, uh, no, 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 not to run. Not, I, saw, I heard the rappers say hustle. You, don't the, the, start the, the, again. The euphemism you were using was hustle All yesterday. Right. Okay, so you did better today, and I bet it felt good on some level, right? And he knows what time he left his apartment. How did you statements about what running means and then not let me say what? Night. How did you feel being on time today? How did you feel? I felt fine. You felt good. And you and, can and, narrow and it down I, when you left your apartment. Come on, be come serious. On. What time about did you leave your apartment? And you know to leave about that time every day. That's what, what time people did you do. leave? I, I, around 545. Something. Okay. So you know that you, gets you here. So now. if you leave at 545. You right. will not have you to run. You don't have to run. You get here on time. You're you're in charge. Do you walk or do you take a cab, Benj? I, I do both, but this today I took a cab. Because, again, I'm saying that even that sounds a little tight to it, me. No, it's tight. Absolutely. But uh, he's not dealing with traffic or anything. On the show what must have been, he had been doing before? Leaving at 5? I don't know. On the show yesterday, Howard, we <laughs> talked about how... <laughs> this here's what's gonna happen because we remember you had that really uncomfortable conversation where it was, Benji almost got fired. Right. He'll be he'll be on time and then it'll get a little closer. Right. And then it'll get a he'll little start closer. No, and, he's gonna no, be a, he he's say, gonna be a grown up now. He even he'll admitted. Be a big boy. He even admitted yeah, he's gonna be that a big boy. it's gonna get back to where it goes soon. He thinks. No, yeah, no, you're it's berating not. me. What do you mean berating you? You were berating me yesterday, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Do you have examples of that? Howard TV has footage of Benji walking in calmly this morning. Oh. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Here he is. Any sound? So, yeah, why not? Put the sound on. I don't know if you'll be able to hear anything. No there he, thundering uh, stampede. There he is opening the door. No thundering stampede. He's like, walking in organized and relaxed and smiling. He looks like a grown-up. It looks like 60 Minutes. You know, that's the shot how a professional in. New York right. City businessman comes right. to work. That's how a grown man comes to work. Mm. That's it. You look like a grown-up. Mm. You don't look like a charging You're not a preschooler. maniac every single day. One day it happens. You come running in and once a year... I understand that. I understand when you're late and you want to be on time. All right, I want to bring uh, one thing up yesterday that Benji seems to overlook. He was even talking about how he admires the security in this building and the people, what they do. When you run in, like... You guys are mixing up a bunch of issues. Excuse me, I was speaking. Benji? But you guys are mixing up. I was speaking. The security thing was because I forgot my ID. Benji, I was speaking. Benji, Fred, he's he's too embarrassed and ashamed. I'm not embarrassed at all. I'm sorry, too. Go ahead. I'll let him be embarrassed for a minute. All right. And then I'll try and make a point. If you would listen. Okay. <laughs> if you can't listen, then I'm just going to shut up. You better you shut listen? up then, Fred. All right. <laughs> no, let Fred right. talk. Listen. I want to hear no, what he has to no, say. No, ah, here's, here's never, I, never, no, happen. here was something that Benji said yesterday that I, I thought about I'm afterwards. having trouble listening to Fred. <laughs> well, that's your problem. Go back to your shrink. Anyways. Uh, just like Benji, I can't listen to you. <laughs> hey, why don't you go run down the hall while I have this conversation? See, go ahead. The yeah. abuse now is now being scattered around like the Harlem Globetrotters. Right, he what is, what he was point? saying how he admired the job that the security people did and how hard a job it was. Now, when you come running through there, don't you make their job harder? Don't you create a security risk, which in essence All right. ruins everybody's life around here? Because they're watching you run and they're not paying attention to their job. Right. No, that's but you mixing no, up. No, Benji, security. answer the question. Don't give me. Well, okay, give don't me, give me an give addendum. Me a specific question. Answer the give question. Me a specific question. Just I, listen, I, gave I, you I, a question. I can't take this anymore. No, I, I know what a friend's trying time. to say. No, no, I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, I'm done. Can it's, I interpret it's, it's dull. No, please. No, don't Most interpret. of the security guys here are African Americans. When they see <laughs> when they see a white kid from North Carolina running, they fucking think trouble. No, they think they lynching. Head, okay. They okay. head okay. towards the hill. They, they think Great. lynching. All right. Good. One Thank more you. thing. Yeah. One more thing. Yes. Uh, Benji, what? Benji and I were very serious. Yesterday. I'm trying to make a joke. Yeah. I'm, Benji, I'm not, offended. This, this is conversation's not working for me. I'm offended by the fact that on, yes, on the rapper show yesterday, because I told you what we wanted from you, you interpreted that as a berating. Every time I told you how we wanted you to, to act, you argued it, and now Here's I hear the, the next morning I'll that I, I berated you. Here is here is the show last night. You know, Benji accuses me yesterday. I heard him attack me. What well, let, it, let me let me play this, and you can listen for yourself. This is what happened, and then I'm going to drop this subject, and it's enough. Everybody here gets shit. Benji doesn't get any more shit than anyone else. Right. I think Benji is uh, somewhat odd. And disturbed, Somewhat. and di- disturbed, and uh, I have I to straighten them out. Very disturbed. Yeah, and I straighten them out from time to time, just mm-hmm. like I straighten out everyone else here. 
He's a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you know, look, in my neighborhood. He, he right. needs to be called well, on the car. You wake up and a guy acts like, give me, you know what, that guy's a jerk. Yeah, you see, this is a douchebag. I'm going to see if I can straighten him out and help him out. I'd like advice. to each, actually, every <laughs> once in a while, I think of befriending Benji, and then I realize he's Benji. Right. Mm. Where does your psychological need to put people down come from? I'm, well, I'm complimenting uh, you. That's a whole other issue. I have to, that's go. a different I've been show. asking over 20 years, Benji. <laughs> this is a compliment to you. Right. The He's wasting his I, time with yeah, you. Yeah, the fact that I would devote my precious time <laughs> on you is the greatest compliment there could ever you be. Know it, and you love what it, is Benji. that in you that you need to? What is that in me? People? Let me tell you something. I'm a busy guy. I'm a successful guy. Uh, right. You know. I'm you in are. charge of a big, a big a, a concern here. Right. The fact that I would take my precious time and devote five minutes of it to you and your problems and your sweat and your and your running and your and your late blotchiness. If I didn't care about you, I would throw you out of here and never be seen with you again. The fact that I devote my time to you is the greatest gift I can give you. And you should cherish these discussions of ours because you're getting an opportunity to learn. I cherish my work. I've been approached here. by a major university to teach nitwits like you. You'd how be, to broadcast. You'd be a great, you'd be a great professor. I of course think. I would. But that because I would take a classroom full because, of you, and I would yes. tell you, most of you are nitwits. And I appreciate and my I job. But that doesn't you. mean that sometimes you're not also a mean person. No, this We're is this is love. We're going to separate the nits from the wits. The people yeah. I don't love, I don't pay any attention to. <laughs> what was it that I missed to you that was that you makes you so angry at him? <laughs> I miss doesn't do anything to me. But why did you hate him so much? Because he was calling people niggers. So that's that was where all I don't need was from? to. That's right. I don't like it. You're out of my. You're out okay. my. You're out my door. If I see that kind of behavior. Okay. Yeah, Imus was a piece of shit. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. You're just a <laughs> kook. And that's why he's so harsh on you. What? What? He, that's how he was so harsh on you he when you were NBC. He could not harsh. Me. He wasn't. He, 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 he couldn't break me. I'm so mentally tough. He could never break me. They tried to break me, Benji. You think you're going through something right now? Come, come with me to go in the time machine. I don't and come think back to, either of us are going through to anything WNBC. right now. <laughs> I went through plenty. I took lots of abuse. Yeah, it wasn't from Imus. Well, I this thought is you what, what I'm how, giving how you is life lessons. You. I'm giving you life lessons. I'm not. I'm not. I, listen, I don't want to do this shtick with you. This is shtick mm. right now. Yeah, really. I'm, I, I see right through you. What do you see? You think I'm going to play your game I right now? I had no power over Howard. What are you talking about? I'm going to play your game, Benji. What he, game? When it, comes he can't to games, see. when it comes to games, I win. He okay. can't see around you. He can see through you. I mean, what, what, what is this? I like Benji better when he was uh, sweaty, blotchy, and didn't know what to say. I don't, I don't even know, know what well, First of all, about. Every, not, all those checks are some marks, except silly. for knowing what to say. Look at him. He's I'm not mean. <laughs> you think this is mean? This is me helping right you. Right now, no. You're not There's not a company in this country or the world that would put up with your bullshit. It, that's true. Mine, ne mine either, to tell you the truth. I mean, think that's about right. the job I have. Are you kidding me? I'm not a grown-up person. A, I mean, Mad TV loved Artie. They threw his fucking ass out. I had a he coke problem. He was up to shenanigans. <laughs> you running around in the halls. To, we're in corporate America. They're going to invite you in to run and charge around like a fucking bull. You guys asked me to stop doing that, and I said I'll stop. That's it. So then what's your problem? But you got But then you, then you, you make all these mean. psychological things about why I run. I told like, you why you run. And then I can respond boy. to it. You're a little boy. That's all. What, 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 okay, wait, so what grown man runs through the halls like that? Little boys do that. That's what they do in school. And they say to them, Junior, you're not allowed to run to school. The principal comes out and says, you're not allowed to run to school. You're behaving like a child. That, Teachers in so, kindergarten uh, tell the kids. And your walk. upper lip is sweating and your chin is sweating. It's like, it's like you're in the principal's office. I'm like office. A, a hot child. Yeah, okay. Uh, what? An overheated child. <laughs> I mean, I asked Benji to stop being late. He was late 50 more times. I mean, I don't know. How many times you got to fucking discipline you? It's like a child. If I tell you you're late and I can't accept it, you accept it and go, I'm going to correct it, Howard. That had nothing to do with but it. But you're late again. It has everything to do with it. You're running in here late. That was running to be, to avoid being late. Yeah, and, and then you guys said, you know run. what? You guys don't want me to cut it that close. And I said, I'll stop doing that. All right. Let's see if you can. Benj, I'll tell what you. Else, I, what else should we tell so you now? So we shouldn't have wondered why you can't. Uh, Honestly, you know. and this is not a joke. Yeah. When even times when I've gotten here like at 20 till. Like a, a half hour before, I've jogged in because I like I like the jog uh, is fine. Jog okay. out on the street. Okay. When Wait you get in this Wait building, hold it a second. When you get in the building, you're you're not jogging. You're running into this building. You're fucking crashing through the gates. It ain't a joke. And I you're, said you're I'll in a stop huff. You're doing that. So don't compare your jogging on the street to what you're doing here in the halls. But you're creating he was a scene, and you're creating an attention-seeking device. You're like a runaway meatball. He was about to say why he <laughs> jogs in. Why did you jog in if you got here early? It felt good. Uh, Doing God. the jogging at the gym. Ben, Fred just gave you the uh, a title of your autobiography, by the way. Run, runaway Meatball. <laughs>
right. All right, good. This good. is your Laugh first experience, up. I think, in a work, a real work situation. I'm telling you, man, even in show business, nothing is this lenient. Nothing. You feel good. I, I think love... I don't, drive. I, I do. You, you should. I you don't should. really bust anyone's balls. You no. see, you think I'm a ball buster. He really doesn't. Not, not, not. No, I don't. I, this you is what think, I tell people. You think, this you is exa- think I, I said, hate you. You are one of the most supportive people That's it. With, 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 with management type issues. Right. On air, you can be a total ass to me. That's but, not being an ass. This is devoting time to you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying overall. Where would the someone? Look, where would someone who has risen through the radio ranks like me be paying attention <laughs> to a clod like Johnny you? Do you think Johnny Carson? I don't would think I'm a clod. Talking You're to being somebody a clod who right ran now. through the halls. No, Johnny never talked that's to anybody. Just, that's just so, so. Johnny Carson never paid attention to anybody on his staff. I'm paying attention to you. But these are a lot of, and these a lot that, of air things that, that would save your job. That is fun to be part of it, and it, and and you have fun with it too. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, okay, all right. Listen. Fine, all right. Whatever. Enough of this. We've devoted enough time to Benji. He's going to be on time. That's it. It's like talking to a maniac. Right. No, it is talking to a maniac. <laughs> it's not like anything. It's like talking to a runaway meatball. <laughs> you used to be a fat bitch. Now you became a skinny bitch. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Whoa! I like being That's a, a skinny bitch. <laughs> I wish I was a skinny yes. bitch. All right. <laughs> Benji <laughs> launching a scud missile. I'm already getting a headache from this. Uh, Thank you, Benji. I'm uh, that's the best I'm, I'm, compliment you ever paid me. I'm getting a headache from this. You know who's a real uh, basket case is Will, who works for us. Will is a basket case? He's doing a weird thing, man, and people are getting really upset about it. And I love Will, but, man, he's got to pull his shit together. What's he doing? What's he doing? Mm-hmm. He's now into peeing in the bathroom here and then leaving the pee in the toilet because is he's... Is he the guy? He, I was yeah. going to say, I have seen that, too. That's Will? Yeah, he's it's the Will. Dude? And it took a while to figure out who was doing it, but it's Will. Uh, first of all, I don't think I'm the only one. And second of all, I don't think it's that a disgusting thing to do. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, you Why share, are you doing it? Conserving water. Oh, dude. sure you are. Dude. Yeah, I'm serious. Will. Right. I'm serious. Well, if you're serious, if you're serious, you don't want me to do it. I won't I do know. it. Flush the but I'm not going to listen. Well, why don't you tell bullshit. us before you start doing it? Really? You know? what, do you, what do you mean? I'm not, not the only one that does it because I've been in there before and people do you're it. You're not going to listen to the paces bullshit. What is bullshit about it? Mm. Respecting your co-workers, they don't want to smell your piss when right. they, they don't. Sm- it doesn't smell. They don't smell anything. You ever leave urine in a toilet overnight? It smells. Yeah, of course. You f- yeah. And then you flush your toilet. It's fine. Right. There's no need to flush your toilet every in... time someone pees, especially a dude. I don't want to walk in and see your pee. What do you mean, especially a dude? Because, well, you don't leave toilet paper and everything else a girl does. Well, what about Robin when she goes in there I to use it? I said it's different for a girl because... Okay, so you just pee, evidence. Robin goes in. Now There's no reason the to flush a toilet because you pee once. It's just yeah, a waste Robin, of water. You might as well flush it because I'm going to flush it before I use it. Well, when you do, but if another guy's going in there and he just to take a leak, that's not no, that big a deal. It is a big deal to me. Mm. Well, you don't use that bathroom. No, but it's a big deal to me, so I'm sure it's a big deal to other guys, too. Oh. And it is to they're Scott panties. the Pace and other people. No, they're it's, not I, I, You know what, Will? It's a big deal to me, though. Yeah. I, I'm going yeah. to you. Well, no, I'm just grossed out by it. I understand what you you're trying Jim, to do. You did it at Jim McClure's house during Super Bowl. and I don't remember that, but yeah, I, I'll did. admit it. I'll you're say getting it. into I don't a care. weird thing. Like, do it at home if you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, when guys, you're ready. Yeah. Well, are there, if know. Will says he's not the only person to do it, I mean, I believe him. Does anybody else feel this well, like, way? I really, you really think it's up. a big deal? Yeah. Why? Big, big, and big, I've big only deal. noticed in the last couple of days that I go in there and there's pee mm. in the toilet. Yeah, it's not sanitary. It's, it's, yeah, well, it's everyone, not sanitary. Toilet's not sanitary everyone was, then. Everyone was freaking out. And then, like, we, f- we had to, like, really, like, follow each person and figure it out. And it turns out it's Will. Right. Well, I'm not embarrassed by it because I think it's good, for, it's good for the environment not to flush uh, the toilet every time you pee. You're not at home. Pee. You're not at home. Yeah, well, why don't you have a consideration for the world around you, not why just the you three or four people that use that toilet? Why don't you before you start in, uh, uh, subjecting us to your rules? Yeah, Ralph, go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, you know, I like Will, and I still like him, but there's this weird thing going on with him where he's becoming like an asshole. Yeah. Like, like clearly <laughs> clearly he's not trying to conserve water. He's just really, I don't know if he's looking for airtime or what he's doing, but, like, that's not you, Will. It's, why wouldn't I like, try and conserve water? Case, it, like, all this stuff with you and Jay, I mean, you're just really coming off really badly. And for mm. me to say that, woo. No, you were always like a nice guy. Yeah, what happened? I'm nice man? to you. What are you talking no, about? Is it because I mean, you get married? What's going on with you, man? <laughs> what are you, what are you talking about? You're pissing and just leaving it? You know, people don't <laughs> want to see not, that. That's not an angry move. A, Will really, is a, really Will is a good looking to... guy, and the marriage thing, while his wife is lovely, <laughs> future wife, Will is the one guy who's given up a lot of pussy for this, <laughs> for the marriage. He is <laughs> yeah. pissed Did off? You oh, oh, yeah, Howard's not giving up any pussy. Well, I'm just saying, though, Howard's an angry guy, too. We're all angry. Did you 
<laughs> the, you, do you feel that you took full advantage of... Uh, no, absolutely not. Right. But Robin, he's had one chick since he's been here. That's what I thought. I didn't think he had really um, done anything. Which is right. admirable. It okay, is. okay, enough of it's that. Over. We'll, it's over. It's boring. Over. I got what you're saying. Will, okay. Will couldn't have answered that question any quicker. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh, but you, uh, Ralph, you think he's doing it to create a confrontation? I don't, I don't know about I don't that. know, because clearly he doesn't give a shit about saving water. He's just And when you piss all over the place, it's just gross, man. It sure is. I, I hear here. Okay, thank you, Ralph. You don't see the point, though, that that's kind of disgusting, that someone else's excrement basically is... Wait, why is this interview is, biased already? Is lingering. Why would you phrase the question like that? You don't see how that's disgusting. Clearly you, as a cameraman, are opinionated and think that's disgusting. I do. Okay. But I'm saying... What if I pee on you instead, you son of a bitch? You golden shower me, I'll fucking bitch slap you. So what's your problem? No, my problem is that most of the guys in the studio found it disgusting. I found it... Oh, look at the people in the studio. I love Artie saying how disgusting it is. Do you ever see a guy wear four sweat... Four... Wait, 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 there's same sweatpants four times in a row. He's gonna tell me I'm disgusting. Yeah, but he's not. He's not forcing anyone else to wear his. Sweatpants. I gotta smell him. I gotta. He's got his sweaty ass on my seat every friggin' day when he makes phone calls. Poor chair has to deal with him. Well, maybe.